thank you for joining us today. It's a pretty important event for us today, and I guess without a doubt, uh, it's one of the most exciting days in, in my 35 years with General Motors, and quite frankly, it's a monumental day also for customer care and after sales, which I have the opportunity and the privilege of leading, and also for, in my view, the, uh, the 700 employees, both salaried as well as hourly employees here in Burton that work in our operation. Under Mary Barra's leadership, General Motors is executing a focused and disciplined strategy to position the company for the future, like never before in General Motors history. And we never stop working to strengthen our core business, and that includes customer care and after sales, and by extension, our operations here at the Burton facility. We source and manage over one million unique part numbers, from AC Delco brake pads, to genuine GM collision parts, the Chevrolet crate engines that can transform a normal family vehicle into a race car. Genesee County is where this all comes together, from our global headquarters in Grand Blanc to this new $65 million parts processing facility that we are building in Burton. Our investment in Burton is strategic, and it's historic because it's GM's largest investment in warehousing and logistics facility in over 40 years. Thank you. And we announced this new facility. We said that we would start breaking ground immediately. And quite frankly, that day has come and the day is today. We are clearing shrub, we're clearing brush and making way for this new great facility. We are proud to be here in Burton. We are grateful for all the support we received from the city of Burton, from the UAW and many others. And we have a bright future together. Burton is not just benefiting from GM's growth, it is helping fuel that growth. Thank you, Tim, and welcome all to our ceremony today. We are very excited to be here. Tim described our investment in Burton as historic, and it certainly is. As he said, it's our largest single investment in a new U.S. warehousing and distribution facility in about 40 years. The role of the Burton facility in this vast enterprise is critical. It is our main induction point into the U.S. for service parts that need to be unitized and packaged for sale. To that end, the new facility will have approximately 1.1 million square feet of floor space, adding to the 35 million that Tim talked about. That's up from 412,500 square feet today, so significantly larger than our existing facility. It will have six ramp doors and 84 shipping and receiving docks. That's up from 35 today. This will be a model facility and something the Burton community and GM can take pride in.